We have an ageing population in this country and we're going to need a third more care workers just to keep pace. The care sector today, it's under-resourced, it's stigmatised, it's undervalued. Bellevue has got a radically different operating model. It involves small self-managing teams recruited from their local community, serving their local community. The biggest difference with Bellevue is the use of tech. It has the dashboard so that we've got all of the landing pages for our different forms of communication so we can record team meetings on there, rotor systems on there, our care delivery service on there and our HR service on there. It makes it smoother for the wellbeing support workers so they can deliver their support in a more time and efficient manner, it actually makes sure that the people that we're supporting are living their best lives at home. God, it's changed my life by doing what they're doing to him. I mean, I was right rock bottom. The rapport with the, staff, with the staff when they come, you wouldn't get better. We're building a list of vetted, trusted suppliers that our care workers and our community connectors can use. It's everything from everyday living, perhaps finding a, a gardener to help with that bigger job that's tougher for you to do yourself these days, through to the very latest in age tech. And we call this Thrive. It's our managed marketplace, and with UKRI's help, we're building a digital platform to scale it and take it to more people. We know that over a million older adults live in, in chronic loneliness. We see the struggles that creates for the NHS, but also for families who don't have the resources or don't live local to their elderly parents to, to take care of them. We know that manifests on the NHS with GP visits, visits to A&E that are really down to loneliness. At the same time, we also think there's a vast supply of volunteers. And we know that because 70% or so of the FTSE 100s give paid volunteering time to their employees but the take-up is really low, which means hundreds of millions of hours of volunteering time isn't being used. We think we can solve that. So On Hand is an on-demand app which, uh, based on your location, will show you local ways to help as close by to where you are as possible. We're trying to make volunteering as easy as um, ordering a pizza on Deliveroo or watching a film on Netflix. Working with On Hand has been such a pleasure. It's made me much more confident in myself. I've met so many great people. I've been able to do good. The flexibility of the app is amazing. The support we've had uh, through grant funding has been like, dramatic in allowing us the space to find product market fits, ensure we had a product that could generate revenue and make a sustainable business. And without that funding, honestly, I don't know if we'd have had the time frame to find the right model for us. So our hopes are we can, we can change the way the world and we all do good we can dramatically change what it looks like to live longer independently at home. A lot of people don't realise that 48% of all delayed discharge in the hospital system is caused by a lack of home care support. The mission of the Tribe Project is to close gaps in home care provision. So the way in we do that is we upskill people with skills and training directly proportional to the projected emerging system demand. Here at Essex County Council we're uh, trying to create a community microenterprise market out there so that we can offer our service users choice. Tribe fits into that gap perfectly because it's a platform platform that is connecting those service users with those services and equally our own professionals with those services so there's a broader understanding of what's available out there in the market to everybody. Co-production is so important to what Tribe is doing because communities themselves are integral to the way that we work to building their own local systems of care and support to engaging all of the assets and people in their own communities. They know their own communities best uh, and they are the best place to mobilise to build these networks and we're there to support them to do that. Tribe was able to um, direct me in the right way to the right training, know that I had to be DBS checked, have insurance to protect myself um, and it's a good way for people, carers and their loved ones to find quality care in the community. I couldn't do without them now. Living alone is it's not easy. It, life would be completely different without Tracy and the team. I think life without paradise care would be fairly tricky. The work particularly that Ramesh does uh, is, is an essential part of my survival. What UKRI is facilitating is an opportunity for those innovations to um, gain traction, to then scale, and um, essentially prove the impact of the work they're doing. 
Peoplehood is Blackwood's project for a healthy ageing to help people to live an additional healthy five years. It's really, really important for us to test with the people in the neighbourhood what it is that's going to help people live more productively for longer. And that's testing products, uh, services and creating a model that will allow people in Scotland and across the UK and hopefully across Europe as well to thrive as they age. So we're looking at a, a model demonstrator house. So this house has got a central bathroom that's a, a wet floor bathroom. We've also got two bedrooms. We've got a large living space. One of the biggest challenges that wheelchair users face with uh, cooking their own meals in their kitchen is getting access to storage space. So we have made it that the cupboards rise and fall down so they can bring them down to the right height. So this is Clever Cogs. And this is the interface that our customers use. So it lets them interact with us as their housing and care provider, but also lets us deliver some of our services through it. Being disabled and moving house is a, a big event. These houses would be absolutely perfect. You, you could grow old in them. We're exceptionally grateful to UKRI for the investment. It allows a housing association like Blackwood to partner with some people in industry that we maybe never would have. We wouldn't all be speaking to each other. There wouldn't be necessarily the same drive and the impetus to really engage and say, right, what can you offer? What can I offer? What are you looking for? How can we work together to kind of get you the data that proves the surrogate driver scheme is a great idea or the Blackwood house could be scaled and could be done commercially rather than for social housing. And that should take hopefully Blackwood into a new commercial position, the partners into a new commercial position, but ultimately the people of Charleston and the neighbourhoods into living more productively for the remainder of their years. The name of the project's Flexible Homes and we're trying to build flexibility in, into the housing design. We build houses in the UK which are static objects and we, we want to be able to make adjustments internally to suit people as they age. I think where the innovation is is, is, is in asking older people what they actually want and what works for them and then trying to find a design solution to enable that to happen. Something that everybody was animated about was the opportunity to open the homes up to the front. If we had a terrace, you know, where people could go and sit outside and read a book, you can engage with a, uh, with a neighbour. So in this example, we're just showing turning lights on and off. And that's just to demonstrate a concept that remotely you can control things within the home. We can't afford to provide individual care packages for everybody's specific nuance needs. So having funding to support research like this means that we can produce solutions that enable people to help themselves, basically. So there's less cost on the taxpayer. The problem is loneliness and isolation. That leaves an indelible imprint on their life chances, on their outcomes, and we see the results of this every day in the communities that we work in. The face-to-face -face services we provide are excellent. The interventions we make are important ones. What is the role for technology supplementing those face-to-face -face services? Home care is a patented smart home solution that runs on the Echo Show. So it's multimodal, it can be interacted with using kind of voice and touch. They help reinforce routine, um, help connect them with like-minded individuals, give them something to do and kind of really create a sort of sense of purpose. I've been working with um, five residents here at Gola Keredig, um, supporting them to set up their Alexa devices. For these residents it means that the son has that peace of mind that he can check on and is dad at any time of the day to make sure that he's attending appointments that are really important or taking his meds. This funding has allowed us to take a concept which we've proven to becoming a more mature product which is ready to take out to market and to, to scale. The challenges that the social care sector face at the moment are immense and it's only through innovation that we will find the solutions that we need.